YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am just gonna be doing like a QA type of thing. I had you guys ask me questions on my Instagram. If you watched my last video, y'all are already up to date on all that. But yeah, I had put like a little question thing for you guys on my Instagram, and I'm basically just gonna be answering the questions that um you guys put. So I might answer all of them, I might not. I don't know yet. There's not like too many, but there's some that I'm like, eh, I don't know, y'all, y'all be having some type of, you just say anything, but yeah, so I'm just going to be doing that, and that's basically all this video is going to be, um, I did go to the gym earlier, and I got some footage, but I don't think I'm going to put that in here, because that's going to be like separate videos, it's not really going to be like that type of vibe um so yeah that is basically just what this video is going to be so let's get started um i'm gonna start let's see see i don't have that many i just have like there's like probably like six pages like that okay let me see somebody said what were you doing before you decided to do trucking so i was a bartender um my whole life i was in like the restaurant industry so I started off serving when I was younger and then I was bartending um, and I just I was so tired of dealing with people y'all like I really like I can be a people person when I feel like it but I just I don't like people and that's why trucking is like perfect for me because I could just be in my own little bubble obviously I have my dog with me so it's not like too lonely and when I'm home I didn't really hang out with anybody anyway so like trucking is literally like the best thing that I did because I don't have to deal with people and I love it but yeah I was a bartender before um have you ever been in North Dakota if so what part North Dakota no I never went to North Dakota I don't think I don't think so um do you like OTR life I loved OTR like I loved being everywhere seeing new places and stuff um so i'm definitely ready to go back otr once winter's over but i'm not trying to do all that in the winter time um yeah so i'm on my dedicated account watch my last videos if you guys have not already but yeah i kind of explained more of that kind of stuff in the videos uh somebody said so why truck driving i kind of explained that one in my last video too but I don't know, it was just something new. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in life, so here I am, a truck driver. It's crazy. Um, somebody said they watched me from Africa. Africa? That's crazy. Um, running OTR, how do you hang on in a relationship? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not in a relationship. I never have been in a relationship. I'm very to myself, so... Um, I don't even know I don't know how to answer that I guess like it depends on the type of relationship you're in if y'all could do long distance or if you can't um, you obviously have home time and stuff but being OTR you can't go home that often like I barely go home so um, does driving all day hurt your legs honestly no not my legs but unless my cruise controls out which I just had that issue yes Two days ago, my cruise control went out again, and I just got it fixed. Thank God. I hope that it's actually fixed, because sometimes it'd be saying that it's fixed, and it's not. I don't know. But no, it doesn't hurt my legs. It hurts my back. Like, my back is so messed up at the end of the day. I have to get, like, the pads and stuff that truckers put on their seat, but I just have yet to, like, order it or find where I can get them or whatever. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt my legs. It just hurts my back. Somebody said, did you pass your road test on the first try? Did you feel ready? I'm waiting to take mine. So the school that I went to, it, um, it was basically two weeks online. So I would, I think it was like seven in the morning to like three in the afternoon or something online in like a Zoom meeting. 
So I did two weeks of that, and then I did two weeks of actual vehicle training. And, like, the school that I went to, they did the road test there, so, like, you had to be ready for it. Like, there wasn't, like, you couldn't wait to take it or nothing. You only had two weeks of vehicle training, and then at the end of the two weeks, um, they split the class into, like, two different sections. And people went Friday, and then some people went Saturday to do the road test. So, like, if you weren't ready or if you felt like you weren't ready, like, you really didn't have a choice like they didn't give you that option to like pick when you were ready so I don't know I I'm very like I like to get stuff over with so that's why I chose that school I paid way more money to go to that school just because I wanted it to just be done in the month and I didn't want to have to travel super far that school was like 10 10 minutes up the road for me but yeah so I um yeah I passed on the first try and I wasn't like nervous or anything I just was ready to get it over with like yeah the road test did make me nervous the parking kind of made me nervous um because obviously like when you take the test you have to do maneuvers and stuff it didn't really i mean it didn't really make me nervous but that was the only thing that i was kind of like in my head about um somebody said can we team drive i get this question so much y'all are steady asking if i want to team drive no i don't want to team drive I like being alone with my dog in my own world. I don't like people, so respectfully, no. <laughs> uh, somebody said, what made you start trekking? Because it's so attractive. I've answered that. I, I just started it. I don't know. Um, do you see yourself as an owner-op in the future? Yes, I do. Um, I want to be an owner-op probably within like the next like year, year and a half. It really depends on... like my situation in life and also like the freight and everything going on like there's a lot of issues right now in the trucking industry so becoming an owner op like anytime soon really isn't in my plans but hopefully within like the next year and a half two years if it um gets better with freight and diesel and all that yes i do see myself doing um buying my own truck somebody said what are top five essentials as a girl trucker that's a good question. I honestly should have looked at these questions before I'm reading them to you. But uh, top five essentials. Always have some something with you to like protect yourself. Pepper spray, whatever you want to protect yourself. A lot of companies have certain policies, so I'm not going to say too much. Um, but yeah. And another thing is wet wipes. Obviously, I feel like every trucker, not even just like women, obviously, like every trucker should have like wet wipes with them. But being a girl, I always have honey pot wipes too because sometimes you can't like some days when I was OTR, I could not like shower at night. So then I have to go the next day like during a 10 hour, um, they're on a 30 minute break or something. Um, but yeah, so I always have honey pot wipes, which are like feminine wipes. Um, sorry, y'all, my camera died. I don't know why I didn't charge it before I made this, but it's charging now, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, so. That was two of them. And then also, what's something else? Um, make sure that you have good hair products because I don't know about y'all, but like I was living in Florida for so long and the humidity and stuff. Like, okay, when I changed to like colder weather and stuff, like now I'm in Georgia and like the cold weather affects like my hair and my skin. I don't know if it's just me that that happens to. But yeah, so always like have good hair products with you. I always carry like hair masks and stuff to put on like after my shower and um hair serums and everything also obviously face wash and moisturizer my skin gets super dry in the cold so like much like a good moisturizer saved my freaking skin right now i'm breaking out though because it is like cold in georgia like i said but yeah that's basically like the things that i always keep obviously your vitamins and stuff as well um but yeah it's really no different than like what most men need actually i'm not even gonna say that because a lot of men truckers are nasty y'all don't be keeping up with your hygiene so anyways um somebody said single yes i am single um i y'all just keep asking if i'm single like there's so many questions like that um i just found your youtube channel today watch a few other trucker vlogs good content Okay, what made you get your CDL? I'm not about to, I'm not about to answer that one again. 
Um, uh, hold on. Okay, somebody said, are we from, are you from Florida? So, I'm not originally from Florida. I'm actually from Maine. I was born and raised in Maine. Um, I moved to Florida when I was 15 years old. So, like, all of my high school and stuff was done in Florida. And I um, have been there since. Now, as some of you guys may know, I am ending my lease at my Florida apartment and then I'm just gonna be staying in my truck for a little bit and then after that I probably will never live in Florida again because I just I don't know I don't like it um can we get more videos with your dog yes y'all can get uh like there will be more videos of my dog probably in like my day like day with me vlogs which I am gonna be doing a lot more of those I just need to go to Best Buy and get everything, which honestly, I'm just waiting for my home time, um, for my birthday to go to Best Buy. That's like going to be my birthday gift to myself, just buying myself like the whole setup, a GoPro. I want to get another ring light in here. That's good. I need like tripods. I need a whole lot of stuff so that I can give you guys good content. So I'm just waiting to go home. I go home on November 7th. My birthday's the 8th. So I'll probably go to Best Buy somewhere around there. And then when I get back from home time, y'all are going to be getting content like daily content i promise or like every other day or something but it'll be a lot um can you do a makeup tutorial please i guess i don't really um wear makeup like that on the road usually i'll just like do my eyebrows like with eyebrow gel and put some mascara on on a good day usually but i could do a makeup tutorial at some point and like maybe i'll do like a get ready with me morning vlog one morning or something I don't know, but yes, I'll figure it out. Um, how much was your school? So, as I said earlier, my school was like one of the more expensive schools in my area just because I have no patience and I just kind of wanted to get it over with. And like I said, I did not want to drive. So most of the schools in the area, like in my area, there was another school that was less expensive than mine, but it was like going to take longer and I couldn't start as soon as I could with this one. So I ended up spending $8,000 on school, which I know is like a lot of freaking money and I could have, whatever, I don't even want to think about it. But yeah, my school was $8,000. Honestly, I don't even regret it though because I loved my whole, like, I loved my school. Like all of my trainers were great. Um, it was like such like an easy, like, I don't know, I just liked it. Um, there's so many of these, and honestly, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I am going to just address it because it's annoying at this point. Everybody keeps asking if I have an OnlyFans. Like, contrary to belief, not all pretty girls do OnlyFans. No, I do not have an OnlyFans. If I had an OnlyFans, I most likely would not be out here trucking because I'd probably be rich by now. Um, no, I do not have an OnlyFans. Um, what color are your eyes? My eyes change color. It kind of depends. I don't really know if it's the weather that makes them change or what, but they go from like hazel to like a greenish. It kind of depends on the day. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they are today, but probably like hazel. They kind of look hazily. But yeah, they'd be changing colors. Um, let's see. I think that's basically all the ones oh wait no there's like a couple more pages i'm gonna end it soon because i do have to go pick up a load but i'm just gonna answer these ones let's see um what is your dog's name my dog's name is palm what he said how old are you i'm 22 years old i am turning 23 um the beginning of november though so almost 23 almost there um, can you show us the showers at truck stops? Uh, yeah, I don't really go to truck stops too much anymore because I am dedicated, but I will do a day with me vlog, um, when I get the GoPro and stuff, and I will be sure to, like, just stop at a truck stop and shower and stuff at the truck stop instead of the terminal. That way I can show you guys, like, the full raw day in a trucker's life. Um, how do you keep a schedule? I don't know exactly what they mean by that but um so as far as the schedule if y'all watched my last video you know that i switched from otr to 
a dedicated account so right now my schedule is super messed up usually i was able to keep a schedule for the most part when i was otr because i would wake up at around the same time every day kind of try and do the same thing um so sorry so it was easier to keep a schedule like back then OTR now with a dedicated account it's more like set times and everything for deliveries so it is harder for me to keep a schedule I'm still trying to get like the hang of my schedule back um, but you just kind of it's something that you just acquire over time you just learn like how to do what you need to do at certain times and stuff like that um, somebody said did it take you long to learn how to back personally it didn't take me long um like some people just get it and some people just don't i see people that have been driving years and years and still can't back and then i see people that just started and came back so it's just like like i said it's either something that comes to you or it doesn't but for me it just came to me naturally i've always been like a good driver and stuff and it's kind of like you just maneuver you just learn how to maneuver your truck anywhere you go so i mean obviously i do have back like bad backing days where it's like damn like i'll get out and check like two times i'll pull up like two three times but most days are pretty good like i could just whoop, slide in um how did you get subscribers so fast that's a good question <laughs> i don't know i have no clue i did not think that people would watch me like that but y'all are real and i i really do appreciate you guys so i'm trying to just figure out good content for y'all literally i have been writing ideas down for vlogs and everything when i tell you when i get this gopro it is up it's up y'all are gonna be y'all are y'all are gonna get good content promise you um what's the craziest thing you've encountered on the road mm, that's a good question but honestly i feel like I, I haven't seen nothing too crazy like i really haven't yeah i don't know i don't know i never really like ran into nobody super crazy or like ran into anything that was like whoa you know i don't know um what type of dog do you have he is um a husky mixed with pomeranian so he's pomsky and yeah highly do not recommend he's a mess a freaking mess um somebody said are you going to still do youtube if you don't do trucking that's a good question um first of all i feel like i'm gonna be in the trucking industry for years and years so y'all will definitely have a lot of trucking content to come um it's not something that i plan on stopping anytime soon so to answer that question i think it kind of depends on where my life goes in the future but if I have like a following and stuff and y'all want to see me no matter what I do, then yeah, I'll probably always do YouTube or at least for like a long time and give you guys content of whatever. Um, I am going to be doing like a lot of traveling next year that isn't going to be like anything to do with trekking. So I'll probably bring you guys along for that kind of stuff too if y'all want to see that. Um, but yeah, I plan to make my channel like, like trekking lifestyle type of channel so yeah even when i do stop checking i most likely will still be posting videos somebody said do you touch ugh, do you touch your hair that much in real life y'all i was not expecting that freaking vlog to go like to do as many views as it did like why does that video have like 50 something thousand views that is crazy i just i wasn't expecting that so that video okay that vlog i had made like when i first started trucking and i just i have like an sd card full of like videos and stuff that i just never put together and never put out but okay i have really 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 bad anxiety and i don't know why but like i think it might have just been me nervous for like vlogging or like not really knowing what to say and all that I don't know but it annoyed me too like looking back at the video i can't even watch that video because i'm like first of all i said like way too much and second of all i touch my hair every two seconds i don't do that in real life i don't think so i'm like 
I don't know if it was just anxiety or what, or because like I had it straightened and I didn't want it to get, I, yup, I don't know. I don't know, but if I better not do that in any other vlog because I'm not posting it if I do that in another vlog. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I do that in real life. I hope that I don't do that in real life anyway. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be basically it for this video. Um, there is like a few more, but I just, like I said, I have to get going soon. I just wanted to quickly make this before I like forgot to make it or whatever the case is. Like I said, I am going to have a lot of like much better content coming to you guys. Um, I don't know why, but somebody also had mentioned that like the quality of my videos when I put them up isn't that good, which I should probably mess with the, um, the settings in my camera because this isn't like, this is an expensive camera. So I'm like, why is my quality not good? I should have just not bought a camera and did a freaking phone vlog or something. But I don't know, y'all. I'm going to mess with the settings in this camera and then obviously like I said multiple times, I am going to be getting a GoPro and all that stuff so that you guys get the footage that you want. But yeah, y'all, that is basically it for this video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.